future of Minnesota Fighting Vikings offense coordinator Gary Kubiak has been in, up in the air this offseason. First, the reports of that he's leaning towards retirement, and then Zimmer at his end-of-season press conference is like, well, you know, he's taking his time. Please, please come back. Uh, then our guy Darren Doogie Wolfson, KSTP, uh, dialed in as anyone uh, is in his market, uh, chimed in on his podcast. He said this, quote, So on Gary Kubiak, there is hope that he will still be involved in some sort of capacity in 2021, uh, maybe some sort of senior advisor. Uh, yeah, he won't be the Vikings play caller, but there is hope that Gary will still have his fingerprints on what takes place on the offensive side, end quote. Uh, Doogie then expanded on that, uh, basically virtually teaching uh, the way that they had to install the offense this offseason, uh, really was not Gary Kubiak's cup of tea. Like he wasn't coaching. It, it's certainly not the same as coaching and teaching in person. No rookie camps, uh, no OTAs, no mini camps, a limited training camp. Also, uh, no Mondays, like just limited in the facility. So it sucked. Uh, hated virtual teaching, just like, you know. Uh, lots of teachers hate virtual teaching uh, right now. So it, it does make sense. Uh, now, it, it did sound like. It was more logistics uh, of coaching in, in the COVID age uh, as opposed to uh, his age. He's going to turn 60 in August or you know, anything health related, which is good because 100% I want Gary Kubiak to be able to go out on his own terms. Uh, so I, I think that how the 2021 offseason, as well as how the NFL is going to deal with COVID the second time around, uh, is going to impact on if he's back or not. Because I, I think that if it's like 2020 or anything like that, probably going to be out. But if it's normal, um, I think that he certainly could be back. Uh, and it would be great because the Vikings offense was on point this year through most of the season. They're 11th in league in scoring. They're 4th in yards, 5th in rushing. Uh, 430 points is the third most in team history. Dalvin was second in the NFL in rushing. Uh, I mean, whatever. Derrick Henry. Gah! Gah. Uh, Cousins, after the bye, was the third highest rated uh, passer in the NFL, uh, as well as Justin Jefferson broke rookie records. And Adam Thielen, did you hear that? He, he just caught another one-handed touchdown. It's great. All he does is catch one-handed touchdowns. Uh, and then Zimmer was right when he says that he wants continuity uh, on offense because the offense ain't broke. Don't go break it just for the sake of breaking it or changing things. Fix the damn defense. Fix the damn special teams. And all of a sudden, whoo. You're back in this thing, right? So I think that's why, even though we have this fan fiction, it's like, oh, Jay Gruden's going to be coming in. Oh, what, what about Anthony Lando? What about the Chargers guy? Huh? All, all that stuff. Ah, ah. Stay in the course. Actually leaving alone what's doing well. And also, uh, that's why I think that Clint Kubiak is still the betting favorite to be the Vikings offensive coordinator uh, in 2021 if Gary does indeed hang it up. Hell, even if he doesn't, uh, maybe Clint Kubiak uh, is going to be that guy who's actually calling the plays, uh, even though Gary would be OC in, in uh, title. But uh, I, I think with Clint as OC, uh, either you will officially or unofficially have Gary Kubiak still involved uh, in this offense. Very similar to how he was the senior offensive advisor to Kevin Stefanski in 2020. 2019, because uh, even though Kevin Stefanski was the one on game day calling the plays, Gary Kubiak still had his input. Certainly did. That's why there, there was such a similarity between the 2019 Vikings offense uh, and, and 2020's version. Uh, because, you know, the senior uh, offensive advisor, the role that he wanted in the first place, yeah, yeah, that one, huh. So I think that the Vikings are, frankly, in a good spot this offseason because either Kubiak is going to run it back, uh, hopefully with some better play calls on fourth and one and in two-minute drill, but you know, uh, and if it's Clint Kubiak, which who I think has, is a guy who has put in the work, and if the Vikings do want that continuity on offense, that is the way to go. Uh, the Vikings could have the next young hotshot coordinator in house, the way that Kyle Shanahan rose underneath uh, Gary Kubiak. All of a sudden, oh yeah, oh Kyle and Clint and Kevin Stefanski as well. Woo! Let's go. Uh, and also a guy who's worked with Kirk Cousins the past two years, Kirk in 2019, Kirk after the bye in 2020, two of the best seasons of his career. Guess who was his QB coach? Oh, yeah, Clint Kubiak. Also, Kubiak has a background coaching wide receivers as well. So we're going to throw the ball more. We're going to throw 50-50 to Cristobal? I mean, come on. Uh, e either way, uh, with Gary Kubiak potentially holding the hand handlebars, uh, if, he's, uh, if Gary Kubiak doesn't even have an official title, what do you think Clint's going to do after a game? Hey, hey, Pa. Hey, Pops, what worked, what didn't work? It's great. So I think that the Vikings <sighs> take a deep breath. I don't think there's going to be many changes on offense, which is the one part of the team that was good. So, nah. uh, but anyways, your thoughts, uh, Clint Kubiak, Gary Kubiak potentially returning? I don't know. I don't know. Let, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. We'll support that work. We'll sum the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.